Hi guys, Victoria here. Welcome to Victoria's Clinic and you are going to see today a beautiful aromatherapy back, neck and shoulders with my beautiful friend Jodie. Jodie, yes, she's a good friend. She also runs a very successful clinic in our local town and we regularly do swaps on each other so I'm very lucky to know her. She is going to be arriving shortly, so first of all I'm going to get the room ready, which you'll see, and then I'm going to go outside, have a quick pre-chat with her. We're going to put on our PPE, and then I'm going to give her this lovely aromatherapy back, neck and shoulders. Stick to the end to see how she feels afterwards. Okay, see you soon. Having prepared the couch and warmed some towels, I'm now ready to welcome Jodie. Welcome. You've had a long day at the clinic. Very, very long day. Yeah, and you're looking forward to a nice aromatherapy yeah, massage. I really need it. It's had a very busy week, so okay. I'm quite tense on my shoulders as well. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'll look after you. So we're going to do a nice full body aromatherapy massage with a little facial at the end. And I'm going to check in with you occasionally, see how you are. And I look forward to giving you some nice essential oils. We're going to go in and work out which oils to give you. Yeah. So how are you? Anything you need to tell me? Um, I'm just, well, very tight on my shoulders, very tense, I think. But it's just from all the hunching over and how I work. So I think I just need a nice release. You know? Okay, I'll do my I'm best. I'm excited. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, see you soon. While Jodie washes her hands and applies her mask, I then prepare myself with my visor and my mask, then take her temperature before she enters and I check her muscle tests called kinesiology for tolerance of these essential oils. I've pre-chosen three essential oils, namely grapefruit, seaweed extract and rose each one beautiful for the skin um, in lots of different ways. Seaweed extract helps with skin conditioning, grapefruit also helps with the skin but also to relieve stress and rose is beautiful for cell regeneration, reduce effects of aging to minimize scarring for eczema and rosacea. Having removed one of the heated towels, I'm now applying some preheated sunflower and calendula carrier oil with the combined grapefruit seaweed extract and rose essential oils, which are beautiful for skin conditioning, but also for treating with vitamins because the sunflower carrier oil is just so beautiful for hydrating and nourishing the skin. This is going to be used on the whole body and to a certain extent a little on the face. So today with the back, neck and shoulders treatment I start off by just applying a good amount of this essential oil and carrier oil mix and then I introduce my hands to the body, ask Jodie to take three nice long breaths and with each breath I am separating my hands in order to lengthen the spine. This is so nice for the body on the couch to know how my hands feel, their warmth, the pressure that's going to be applied. It's a very good introduction. And now I start off with a figure of eight massage working around the scapula with my hands overlapping and mainly using my palms 
So my palms are having a good feel of any tension in this area of the trapezius, the scapula, the deltoids. And I'm able to reassure, relax and relieve tension. And this is where the petrissage move of small circles always going upwards along each side of the spine and including the neck, which is the very top of the spine, of course, around the base of that occiput bone and the base of the scalp. And then upward pressure, but actually downward movement. So this is the trapezius, which is the muscle that goes from shoulder points to about the bra line in a triangle. And now I'm coming further down past the waist to the sacrum and a beautiful flat hand effleurage circular move where you can see I'm encompassing the shoulders. So my palms are doing all the work here. The palms actually are the controller and the fingers are just going where the palms are putting the pressure. Aromatherapy is actually a very gentle massage. The whole purpose is to get the essential oils onto the skin, which then absorb through the dermal layer and underneath into the blood circulation and therefore transported all over the body. An aromatherapy massage, unlike a Swedish massage, will help in a very relaxing manner where the person being treated does not have to consider any response or any unpredictability. It is simply a very relaxing, gentle and quite light-handed approach. Now I'm using my thumbs in another petrissage technique just around the edges and over the flat plateau of the sacrum. The sacrum is five of the lower vertebra fused together to form a hard triangle. There's not much movement within the sacrum because they are fused together and this means that toxins sit happily over that plateau for long periods unless they're agitated with massage, movement, stretching or yoga. And now a lovely technique where I'm overlapping my hands in order to encourage lymph and the circulation to move in an outward direction away from the spine, in between the ribs and out to the sides of the torso where they will, there will be lymph nodes waiting for any waste product within the lymph system which could be things like uric and lactic acid, free radicals and other waste products. You'll notice now on Jodie's back that there are some red marks. This is a condition called skin writing, 
which is also referred to as dermatographic urticaria. And fortunately, there is no pain. Sometimes with some people that get it quite badly, there may be some itching. In Jodie's case, there is no itching on this occasion. It's simply the redness there, which can be raised on occasion, but normally it's just a little rosy. Apparently about two to five percent of us have skin writing. I'm doing this lovely overlapping hand move here in order to encourage the lymph away. And now I'm doing another lymph move, which is the scissoring technique in order to agitate any of the lymph on very much the surface, just underneath that top dermal layer. And once I've agitated it with the scissoring technique, I then use my fingers in pretty much a straight line in order to push those lymph toxins away from the spine fire between the ribs and away to the lymph nodes on the edges. This has the effect of creating more flexibility, mobility, movement in the spine vertebra, the discs and in the ribs. People having had this treatment often notice they're able to breathe more easily because the ribs aren't congested and restricted. They're able to expand more freely. Now coming round to Jodie's left hand side, doing the same scissoring technique along the length of the ribs. And now using my fingers in a long line to gently encourage the correct movement of lymph. This is so nice to receive. It's a very gentle technique. Most of the aromatherapy techniques are very gentle. And if you like, in the correct term of superficial, meaning they are on the surface of the skin, not necessarily going too deep, the way that Swedish massage would encourage with movements like petrissage and hacking and cupping. And now that lovely overlapping hand outward wave motion Again, working quite lightly because lymph always moves in a slow speed, always up the body and lymph, because we're normally on our feet or normally the right way up, then lymph is easy to go down, for instance, to pull at our ankles and our feet, our lower legs, but it doesn't particularly like going back up to the heart. So this is a, a nice move that encourages upward movement. And now you can see here a full effleurage technique, again including the whole shoulder points. And now a nice squeezing technique at the waist, which is the oblique muscles. So with this technique, I'm using whole palms together, separated, coming down and putting the full amount of my 
feed our muscle and rest into the waist area. Again, always encouraging muscle relaxation and movement of lymph in the right direction. What we're after as therapists is for the back to warm through nicely. So that it should go nice and rosy, it should feel warm to the touch. Even though the skin is exposed, the, the back should feel nice and warm. And now I'm doing a nice technique into the pelvis area. So this is working on the sacrum, but also on the pelvis bones, which are the iliac. And into the edges of that sacrum, where there is a, a joint called the sacroiliac. And this is held together by ligaments, which Oh, I always see them as like sellotape, so they're holding the pelvis together on the outside of the bones and also internally within the pelvic structure. Now coming up to the very top of the head, the, the back and the neck. This is a, a beautiful manoeuvre in order to encourage the nervine system which is the nervous system so we're talking about the cerebral spinal fluid which travels down the dural tube along the line of the spine it comes all the way down to the sacrum and goes up all around the spine to the brain and back down again. And what this does is it's communicating and stimulating the nervous system in order to encourage correct communication of the nervous system to the immune system. And when that happens, we are in a state called neurologically organized, which is a most beautiful state to be in because that's when our body is at its healthiest. So having stimulated the points either side of each vertebra with each breath, I'm now overlapping thumbs, in a slow downwards manoeuvre down to the sacrum. Again, encouraging the correct speed and movement of the nervous system, which is actually the cerebral spinal fluid. And now slowly coming back up to the neck do the same procedure on Jodie's right side. So, having treated the spine, the lymph, the ribs, I'm now looking at the right side of the nervous system travelling down the right side of the spine connecting either side of each vertebra as I travel down from the neck down through the thoracic area of the spine down to the lower ribs and then as I continue about now, I'm just at the upper lumbar area around the waist. This is the kidney area here, either side of the spine. And all of these acupressure points will be helping to 
set communication lines and meridians working well, channeling down the whole length of Jodi's body and connecting with each system in turn. Having stimulated those points again, I'm now going to overlap the thumbs in order to create the correct direction of movement down the side of the spine, which is the most relaxing, relieving feeling for the person receiving this. It is just so gentle, therapeutic, and above all, the person on the couch just feels like they are being cared for. There is an extension of care that feels so therapeutic and nurtured. Having finished that technique, I then come up again to do a lovely effleurage. This is the go-to technique between every long other technique used, whether it's petrissage or the spinal technique used in the nervous system just now. Jodi, having told me that her shoulders had been tense all week working in the beauty clinic, I'm now concentrating on her left scapula. First of all, just getting a feel for any tension there, where they may feel strained or stuck. Then using my thumbs again to create an upward relieving muscle movement on the trapezius and then working on the scapula itself. Now this is quite a flat hard bone just like the sacrum at the base of the spine and I'm using my thumbs first of all to have a feel if there are any amount of lactic or uric acid, which can feel like little crystals under the skin. And if it was under the scapula, then the shoulder blade would feel stuck, like there wasn't any flexibility or movement. And then I use my knuckles on that flat of bone I'm not working it too hard like you would with Swedish massage. This is quite gentle, but still incredibly relieving. And then overlaid hands to wash away any lymph and waste products that were agitated with the petrissage using my thumbs again on the mid trapezius as a connecting technique to come across to the right shoulder. And here I'm doing the same technique again. First of all, just sussing out exactly how the shoulder feels, where the tension may lie. And I'm using my overlaid whole hands again in order to feel and reassure Jodie that all is well, I'm creating warmth, it's very therapeutic. Once I've done that with my overlaid hands, I'm using my overlapping thumbs in a petrissage, always in contact with the body, with my fingers as well. scooping up and working away any toxins 
that are making the shoulder tight or painful. This is so relieving, getting rid of tension and allowing the body to accept and let go. Always working upwards towards the shoulder point and the armpit. The armpit and all down the side of the body and indeed into the chest itself. There are many lymph nodes and as I like to call it in the chest and in the groin, there are lymph factories that will wait for all waste products in order to get rid and recycle. Now this is one of my favourite techniques. This is an overlaid hand working from the shoulder point in the deltoid across and up the side and back of the neck. This is working with the sternocleidomastoid muscles around the neck, the deltoids in the shoulder points, the very top of the trapezius, and it reassures, warms and relaxes in a lovely way of soothing, relieving, allowing the client to completely melt into the couch. I'm really quite low down over the body now in order to create the correct direction and whole hand effect overlapping on Jodie's left shoulder. Once I feel that the shoulders have relaxed enough I'm now concentrating on the neck and I've definitely still got my palms connected with the upper trapezius, my thumbs each side of the neck, but I'm now using my whole fingers and finger points into the neck and the acupressure points that are located in the base of the occiput bone at the base of the cranials. And I'm not working too firmly. I don't want to make Jodie tense at all. But I'm making sure that I'm relieving and contacting. I like to be able to reassure my clients that there is nothing to worry about. They are able to trust me and relax. So having contacted the central occiput acupressure point, I've now got my index finger and thumb on the ones either side and then to the fourth and fifth acupressure points in the saddle joint behind the ear with both thumbs. Stimulating and contacting that acupressure point which is definitely in tune with the whole rest of the body and now this is a lovely maneuver to warm through the speed is slightly faster here this means the client knows that we may be coming to the end of the treatment. The massage has concentrated on the whole back at times and sometimes different parts, the scapula, the thoracics, the lumbar, the pelvic region and the sacrum. And now finishing off with exactly the same treatment that I started, which is the palm widening at the spine, lengthening, contacting the whole spine three times.
Jodie and I are definitely in tune with the energy right now. Such a beautiful sensation in the room. Having warmed Jody through, and just one last contact. This towel has been heating on the radiator, and now I'm going to ask Jody how she feels. Okay, Jo, how are you feeling? Not very relaxed. I think yeah. I nodded off at one point. Oh, I, I think I felt you yeah. jerk awake yeah, at I one think point. I did. Yeah, when I was lower down. But oils were lovely, nice smells. Yeah, rose, grapefruit, and seaweed extract. Mm. Very nice. I don't think I've ever put those together before. It just seemed to work for you. Yeah. So, uh, how are your shoulders feeling after that? Because you said that they were. Quite um, I tight. can feel you've worked them definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, I will be doing a bit more on them when yeah. you turn over. Okay, lovely.